Now we'll start with sum number 5 on page 286. We'll start with question 5, page 286. You're doing question number 5 on page 286. Right? Let's read the sum. They've given you that the projected profit and loss account for the year 2005-2006 is as under. Sales is given to you as 36,50,000. Right? They have given you instead of selling price per unit, they have given you that the total sales is 36 lakhs 50,000. So they have given you total sales is 36 lakhs 50,000. Material consumption of material is given to you as 20 lakhs 7,500. So per annum, material is 20 lakhs 7,500. Labor is given to you as. 7,30,000 Labor is given to you as 7,30,000 And overheads is given to you as 5,47,500 Now, if you read the adjustments All the adjustments are given to you in terms of per day They give you adjustments in terms of days so what you have to do is, you have to convert this data into per day. How do I convert this data into per day? To convert it into per day, you have to divide by 365. So 20 lakh 7500 divided by 365 will give you 5500. Similarly, 7 lakh 30,000 divided by 365 will give you 2000. And uh, 5 lakh 47,500 divided by 365 will give you 1500. So this is your data per day. They have not given you the selling price per unit, nor have they given you the total units in this sum. Let's start with the adjustments. They are saying that stock of material is equal to 75 days. Right? Let's see the fair work now. We know that raw material is 5,500 rupees per day into 75. You can do your multiplication and get the answer. I will show you only how to do the sum. I want you all to try the sum on your own. Similarly, they have given you that finished goods is 45 days. Finished goods is 45 days. So 5,500 into 45, 2,000 into 45. 1500 into 45 Right? That's how you will get Add the 3 and you can take that figure out Next Credit period allowed by debtors is 60 days Now, let's come to debtors Neither have they given you selling price per unit Nor have they given you total units But Selling price per unit into total units is nothing but total sales. This is nothing but total sales into debtors period upon total period. Right? Selling price per unit into total units is nothing but total sales. And they have given you the total sales to be 36 lakhs 50,000. Debtors period is given to you as 60 days. Right? So 60 in a year there are 365 days so total period is going to be 365. So when you multiply this, this is going to be 10,000 into 60. 10,000 into 60, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 lakhs. Fine, do we get this in here? Next, let's move on ahead. Credit period enjoyed by suppliers is 50 days. Raw material, we know is 5,500 rupees per day. So, creditors is going to be 5,500 into credit period is 50 days. So, into 50. Fine. Next, time lag in payment of labor and overheads is 15 days. Right? Let's see this. Labor and overheads is 15 days. 
labor we have found out per day is 2000 overheads per day is 1500 so when you multiply this you will get your answer next amount of cash in hand and bank on an average is 52500 cash and bank balance required is given to you as 52500 cash and bank balance required is given to you as 52500 last adjustment they are saying that 30% of the sales is for cash now if 30% of the sales is for cash that means debtors have already paid you 30% so the balance amount due from them is going to be 70% so whatever is the cash the balance is going to be debtors 7 6 are 42 4 lakh 20 thousand so your debtors figure is going to be 4 lakh 20 thousand debtors figure is going to be 4 lakh 20 thousand right balance figures you can calculate and complete the sum right this finishes the sum let's stop here for the day thank you